now, Eyewitness News Nightbeat. Good evening. As folks around the state mark the Memorial Day weekend with parades, services, and picnics, rain showers may put a damper on some of them. Let's go right now to Bruce DePriest in the Channel 3 New England Weather Service. Bruce? It is a heartbreaking story we have heard over and over again in Connecticut this year. A toddler dies and the mother's boyfriend is accused in the killing. Tonight, it's a two-year-old from Groton. More now from Channel 3's Kathy Moss live in the newsroom. Kathy? A bizarre case in Woodbridge. A man is in critical condition after police say he contaminated them and his wife with a chemical. Woodbridge police responded to Park Lane on a domestic dispute call. They found the man had contaminated himself and then his wife and then the officers. In all, seven people, including the four officers, were treated for contact with the substance, believed to be organophosphate. Police say it is a concentrated fertilizer. Fire destroyed the Memorial Day plans for residents of a Meriden apartment building. The blaze broke out around 2 this afternoon on the top floor of the three-story brick building on West Main Street. Firefighters brought the flames under control within 30 minutes. No one was hurt. Four families are staying elsewhere tonight. A Connecticut pilot is being called a hero tonight after a fiery plane crash in Indiana. 35-year-old Christopher Thurman of Stamford was taking two friends to the Indy 500 when his single-engine plane went down into some trees. Now, Thurman pulled one passenger out and smothered flames on his other friend. Both are in serious condition tonight. The pilot is listed as stable. You're a cop making a routine speeding stop. Suddenly, you're looking down the barrel of a gun. The driver has outdrawn you. What do you do? That frightening dilemma faced a New Mexico officer. A Kansas mother is dead after she was run over by her own son. The Wichita boy wanted to play basketball in the driveway, and his mother suggested he back the car out himself. The 10-year-old reluctantly agreed, and the 28-year-old mother stood behind the car to guide him out. She tripped near a bush and fell. The boy panicked and hit the accelerator rather than the brake. Children are our future, but some Hartford kids are worried about that future and they're doing something about it. The kids organized a march down Albany Avenue today because they say they are tired of growing up amid chaos and violence. Adults from the Urban League joined in after they learned some young students from Fox Middle School had initiated the demonstration. Memorial Day weekend, though it's food, family, and friends, but there's more to the holiday weekend than just cookouts. It is a day to remember those who have made sacrifices so that we might live in a better world. More now from Channel 3's Susan Raff. And if you are planning to barbecue this holiday weekend or any time this summer, don't forget about those uninvited guests. Not ants, but bacteria that can taint food and make you sick. Coming up in the Health Beat, we'll have some important tips. The night beat continues now with news from the occult. One man's passion for skulls is giving him quite a headache. The man from Kansas City, Missouri, thought he bought a well-made copy of the skull at an antique store. But his father, a physician, told him it's real. Police are now investigating. They say the skull appears to have suffered some sort of physical trauma. Overseas, one town has been gripped by fear and hype after a vampire sighting. A woman in the Philippines claims she and a friend saw a vampire-like creature last month flying to a rooftop and then to a tree branch. Locals say such creatures have been known to inhabit the area. Fears over the sighting have been fanned by the Philippine media. Some of the residents now say they arm themselves at night with garlic and salt and sleep with spears by their sides. Well, so tomorrow not so good, Monday turning out to be very nice. Two out of three, not bad. Exactly. All right, thanks, Bruce. Okay. And up next in sports, the Yankees finally beat the Red Sox in dramatic fashion. Plus, Tiger Woods finds himself in a very familiar spot in the Colonial leaderboard. And Michael Jordan finds his touch again, and that means trouble for the Heat. Harvey's highlights are coming up. Also ahead, a precursor to the Indy. It's the Undy 500 making pulses race. And the Indy 500 will be held tomorrow in Indianapolis. But tonight we have a little preview race, the Undy 500. That's right, Undy as in underwear. Drivers drop their pants and raced around in these little cars in their boxer shorts. The friendly competition was put on by a Wisconsin radio station. And obviously we can't show you these pictures, but I'm told that Harvey is only wearing his boxer shorts. It's <laughs> under the desk, unfortunately, you can't see it. But that's all for us tonight. Take care. We'll be back tomorrow at 6.30. We'll see you then.